for me, any professional footballer should do this exercise every single week, at least two or three times. It really, really affects your ability to go in and out of plays and control that ball. So right now we're with Abba here at the Barnet Power League. Um, he's getting coached by Gary from Performance. Performance is a football academy based in London. If you're age six and up and finding a, wanting to find places to train in London, you can come uh, to Performance, so, so visit them. He's here. But um, Gary, Gary's here. Gary's a Premier League scout and coach. So he's gonna get some tips and advice from Gary now. Looking forward to how he does. Today is also Abba's first training session. So we've been doing some benchmarking. And today he's going to get some coaching advice, some points. I'm going to train with him. So let's see how we go. Okay, so we're going to touch on some dribbling skills, um, technique. So you're going to go in and out, and then I'm going to shout one. And then you're going to knock the ball so that your second touch is at the cone. So it's in, out, okay, whatever it is. Oh, go through. When you get out of the cones, you're going to have a touch on the ball and your next touch is at one. If I say two, you're going to touch the ball and your next touch is going to be at two. Right, off we go. One. Turn and back and give. Yeah, there we go. Three. Good. Set back. Good. There we go. And hold. And hold. Okay, fine. Right. Okay, good. So we got we got the gist of it, right? I want you to try and have one touch as you go through. So it's not touch, 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 touch. It's just one touch to set you through. There. Yeah. 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 There. Three. One point I'm going to make is that your heads are down at the ball. I want the ball to be in your peripheral vision. I want you to focus up there and the ball to be here. I can see the ball now. I'm looking at those goals, but I can see the ball. I'm glancing at the ball, whereas you guys are heads are down. It's there, 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 there. You can't focus on this all the time. Okay, right. You can have a look at every now and again, but focus on making sure you see the picture. Off you go. This requires agility. The better your agility, the better your ability to dribble, yeah? Good. Two. Ten. Good touch. Good. Get your weight, yeah. Get your weight. Yeah. Touch. Ten. Okay, change to left foot after this one. After this one. Left foot, left foot, left foot. Good. One touch just not comfortable using his left if you practice it the correct way repetition 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 then it comes right and so he's not got confidence to use his left in the in the game you get into tight situations you you want to weave your way out of them and your ability to do it improves tremendously with this exercise and it's something that you have to keep doing for me any professional footballer should do this exercise every single week at least two or three times it really really affects your ability to go in and out of plays and control that ball that exercise that we just did right now that that improves your technique and it's very very good i've gone on the downside where it's not realistic in a game is that the soldiers are all lined up so we'll see if we can do something which changes that you're going to dribble the ball at me i'm going to throw cones down you're going to go past it One more, one more. You see a lot of people that are at home and they're just dribbling through, dribbling through cones, dribbling through cones, but they're so like, never happens in a game. And you can be really, really good at doing turns and doing skills, but you need to be good at doing a turn. When a player comes to you from the right, can you turn and go to the left? And you've got to see the spaces there 
to, to, to execute yeah. the skill effectively. Yeah, what, yeah, that training is all about actually seeing the picture before you make the pass. Yeah. One of the things Abba has pointed out is he's not comfortable on playing off his left side. So we, we'll do some stuff with that. And the one thing I did notice that you were doing over here, which we, we pointed out, coming out, and if you're going into that direction, you're turning there to pass, and you're coming in sometimes like that. So you're playing off your right side when you should be playing with your left. But the second that you twist your hips into there, it's you shame the player where the ball's going. You don't get the power, you don't get the accuracy, and you don't get the disguise that you might want to show, where, you know, give when, you, when you're passing the ball. The ability of a player to make the right decisions is dependent upon a couple of things. Number one, intelligence. And number two, the, the ability to assess the information. The intelligence, I think, is about being able to assess the, the, the information. Now, in order to assess the information, you need to give yourself a chance to see what's important. Now, you're coming to receive the ball. I want you to change your focus of attention to Harry. Harry's where you need to focus your attention. Harry might go like this. Harry might go there. You look back at the ball, Harry might pop in over here. And then can you see that? So for me, it's like this. Yes, Ben. Yes, Ben. There we go. No, I know where he is. No, not only do I know where he is, but I can see his momentum. If it's there. Yes, Ben. Yeah. And then we beat him on the first touch. Okay, so we beat him on the first touch. But you need to know where he is all the time and you need to see his movement so the ball is secondary the information is primary that's what you focus on all right off we go okay oh, okay well you see a problem over there anyone here we go It's, it's not flowing. So it's just come in, receive, touch out, and, and go. just ideally two touches, ideally, make the decision, and let's get the ball off quickly. Okay, all right, just try. I don't care how many mistakes you make. Okay, this is where we're actually trying to change the way a person's been thinking for 20 years. Yeah. Okay, so he's been thinking, ball, focus on the ball, set and make a decision. Now we ask him for decision, ball, but while he's making his decision, the ball's traveling to him and he's got it. It's a very, very difficult thing to adjust and he's not going to get it right the first time. Just keep at it. I've got to show you, I'm showing you things to work on. Set, go! Good, good! So it's always, can I get that half turn? And that look, so it's from there, can we come in here? And then, then we can go there. If he's tight, come tight. So if, if I receive it there, I might let it just go across me, okay? If he comes in really tight, come in, then we can go out there. So those are decisions that, that we're making, okay? He's got to come in, change your pace. Slow it down, get behind him, and then come. You've got to think of something to make that yard. And the top players only need that one yard, yeah? It's tiring. Very, very tiring exercise. A hard, hard work, this. It's very hard work. Good, can we go? Set, oh, open. Lovely. And again, finish. Do it, do it, Come back. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. 
why if you're there and you've 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 succeeded now all you got to do is go through did you want to pull the ball back in here because you want to put it on your right okay you need to have more confidence in your left you can't play if you're that weak on your left so make the mistakes on your left when i say make the mistake what i'm talking about is don't avoid using your lefts your left side so that you don't make the mistake rather make the mistake again and again and then use it and it will get better and better and better nick what the is wrong with your boots <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. That's cancellation of draft. <laughs> Nick, move, Nick moves early. <laughs> Good. Good, well done, Nick. It's just your goalkeeper. <laughs> oh, he's got it. Good. Finish, left foot, can you finish? Can you finish? Left foot! Well played, better. Good. Drop out. Oh, well done. See, even there, touch with the right foot, front foot. All right, well done, well done, well done. Let's just recap. You wanted to work on a bit of dribbling. So we, we showed you a couple of methods of practicing the technique, yeah? Things to work on, going in and out, using one, one, one touch, working at a good tempo, using both feet using all different uh, parts of your foot. Range of passing we, and, and, and decision making and first touch. We worked on all of those things. So the first touch, so many coaches talk about first touch, but what about the first touch? And before the first touch can be effective, you need to have the information. So it's, it's always about the information. Okay, one, you've got to practice so that you have the ability to put it wherever you want to put it. But when we talk about the first touch, we're generally talking about getting it to the right place, the correct place. And that decision is going to be based upon the information that you bring in. So when we talk about the first touch, in my opinion, we're talking about the information. And that means opening up shoulders, getting half turns. Okay, it's about movement. All of that is, for me, builds into the first touch. So it's the information. Okay, range of passing another exercise that you can do and use your left foot make the mistakes i don't care if you make mistakes if you avoid it you won't improve i think that's it is there any questions feeling great yeah feeling a little bit tired but yeah feeling good you learned some nice things today decision making and uh, dribbling technique they're very important for my position working on that left foot yes also my weak foot yeah. yeah. Great job today. Thank you.